Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing basic insect wing venation. Now the keyword here is basic, as evolution is a thing, and most insects have more or less veins in their wings. This is the basic model used to explain the concept to people. It may seem confusing at first, but once you understand it, it's really quite simple. So to start, what is a vein? I don't mean the kind of veins you can see in your arms. When we're talking about insect wing, veins are the lines you see in the diagram, which give the wing structure and support. The thin and often see-through areas between the veins are known as cells. This may seem surprising, but all of the veins and cells have names. Those names are what we're discussing in today's video. The very first vein on the upper margin of the wing is known as the costa. The vein directly below the costa is known as the subcosta. Now here's where it can start to get slightly confusing. The subcosta branches off into two veins, the first being SC1 and the second being SC2. Now we're moving down again to the radius. The radius first branches off into R1. The other branch is the radial sector, which actually splits right in the middle, but it's all one vein. The radial sector then splits into four veins, R2, R3, R4, and R5. It gets much easier after this, so don't feel discouraged now. Now we move down to the media, which like the radial sector, splits in the middle. The media then splits into M1, M2, M3, and M4. Now we're moving down again to the cubitus. First, the cubitus itself splits off into Cu1, but then Cu1 splits off into Cu1a and Cu1b. The second branch of the cubitus is called Cu2. And we finally have made it all the way down to the anal veins, which of course are called A1, A2, and A3. But we're not done yet. You may have noticed that we skipped a few veins earlier on. These are known as cross veins. The first one is the humeral, the second is the radial, then the sectorial, the radiobedial, the medial, the mediocubital, and finally the cubital anal. So that's it. Those are all of the basic veins in insect wings. Let's do a quick recap. The costa is red, the subcosta and both of its branches are orange. The radius and all of its branches are yellow. The media and all of its branches are light green. The cubitus and all of its branches are light blue. The anal veins are purple and the cross veins are dark green. You probably remember that in the beginning of this video I mentioned cells too. Now I will be going over them but that will be in a separate video. This is only part one. If you like this video, please like it to let me know that I should make more content like this. And if you don't want to miss the Wing Cells video, then make sure you subscribe so you can watch it right when it comes out. Music credit, picture credit, and how to spell all of the different veins that I mentioned in this video will be in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.